I have a series of drawings uh, commemorating Washington State veterans who died in Iraq and Afghanistan. I began the series because I teach and all these GIs started coming into my classroom and um, because art uh, draws upon your experiences inevitably their stories came out in their artwork and I wanted to think of a way in which I could help so I started to ask them to model so even though these are commemorative portraits all of the models are living veterans I was born in Cuba and um, my family fell in disfavor and when I was a child I spent time in uh, a camp for political dissidents and I witnessed all kinds of brutalities there. Cubans have been able to come to this country and because the doors were open to them and they found support, um, we've been able to build community, we've been able to build businesses and in fact in the East Coast especially I think that uh, Latinos have really thrived and, and Cubans have really thrived both in New York and New Jersey and in Miami. Um, they've done really well. Not everyone was welcoming when I first came to the United States. I remember, it must have been like around 1970s, I remember being kicked out of a restaurant in Florida, not in Miami, but in the Panhandle, because the proprietor wouldn't serve non-white people. And so he had a sign that said, um, no dogs, no Cubans, no Negroes allowed. And, and using the N-word, the horrible N-word, and we were kicked out. So it hasn't always been an easy ride. There are always people who are ignorant, of course. But I say, by and large, my experience has been one of support. I've been educated here. I, I had the opportunity to study at the museum school in Tufts in Boston, and I did so on scholarship and I had the opportunity to get my master's degree in Pratt in New York and again I got a fellowship for that so now these are American institutions they could easily have said like no you know we only support local homegrown talents but they didn't look at me like that they saw what I had to offer and the grace of this country to take me in and these are freedoms that I've never had to pay for they were just given to me it's not like um, you know, I was born here and it's a part of my culture. This is a culture that I have adopted and that adopted me. And, and I, it didn't matter whether politically or not, I'm in agreement with the wars. It doesn't matter whether or not I asked these young people to volunteer to go. There's still a moral, in my mind, uh, because of my situation of being here as a political uh, refugee, I have a moral obligation of gratitude and there's nothing I can do for people who have died but there's something that I can do with my little meager means as an artist to connect and to listen and to share the stories of those who have come back and who remember those who didn't make it home and so every single one of these portraits represents a very in a very specific and actual person who lived here in Washington and who went abroad and died uh, serving their country.